Okay, so today we're going to make a window form supplication, but first uh, create a folder and name it in Visual Basic Project. If you do not know how to make a folder, uh, punta po tayo sa File Explorer, sa File Manager ng inyong desktop, and then click the desktop. And then once you click the desktop, right click, and then add and then new folder. And then change the new folder into Visual Basic Project. And then we're going to open the Visual Studio. So let me open my Visual Studio first. Open your visual studio. Okay, so once you open your visual studio, create a new project. And then for the form, window form, so I'm going to use the window. You do not have the template. You can use the window forms application. So it must be visual basic language. And window forms again pag walang that net framework you can use the window forms up instead then click the next button and then project name into windows form one and then the location must be on the folder that we make so basic project now form three and then click create button and then wait me lang po siya na mag create ng project okay we're creating project now so ganyan po talaga siya sa umpisa Ano po? So, this is the um, Visual Basic IDE. So, it's the default settings of the Visual Basic po. If every po na wala kayong Solution Explorer, wala kayong Properties window, wala kayong Errorless window, or Toolbox window, or Output window, may pwede po kayong magdagdag nyan by clicking the View button. And then you're going to select po kung ano po yung wala sa screen ni po. Okay, again, if there is no solution explorer or properties and etc., you can select here in the view button. So last time we discussed the different or the basic parts of the IDE of the Visual Basic. So again, at the top po ng Visual Basic, nandyan po yung menu bar. So sa menu bar, ito po yung mga file, edit, view, git, project, build, and etc. And then, after the menu bar, mayroon tayong standard toolbar. So, standard toolbar is the next um, parts of the visual ID. And then, sa standard toolbar natin, mayroon tayong tinatawag na tooltip. So, the tooltip is the um, pwede siyang use or name ng button or pwede rin naman siyang um, keyboard and short, keyboard shortcut for that button. And then we have here the toolbox. So, lahat ng controls na gusto natin ilagay sa window form is nasa sa toolbox po. Next one, we also have here the solution explorer. So, sa solution explorer, we can add here forms. So, paano mag-add ng forms? Simply click the window forms and then click the add button and then click nyo lang yung si form window form and then ito po yung mag appear and then we're going to click add button so the default name for the form 2 is form 2.bb but for now I'm not going to make another form so stick muna ako sa isang form po pero ayun nga po sa solution explorer din po tayo nag add ng forms we're going to add more forms. Next one is yes, we have um, form designer. So, sa form designer, dito po tayo uh, gagawa. Ito po yung pinaka-interface 
na user interface natin sa window forms. And then dito sa properties window, dito po tayo mag-edit ng ilalagay natin sa ating form. Para lang siyang PowerPoint and Office, iba nga lang yung kanyang IDE o iba lang yung kanyang environment. Let's say we're going to make button. Ayan. So, ayan. Mag-click mag-guide tayo dito ng button. So, punta tayo dito sa properties window. So, the properties window, mayroon tayo dito name, which is the form 1. So, ito po yung mismong name natin ng project natin, yung mismong form, yung form 1.bb. Okay? Next one is the um, punta tayo kay background color. So, we can change the background color of our form. Simple by clicking this one. Click lang natin siya. For example, I want pink background form. Okay, so we can pink na siya. Depends on if gusto mo yellow. Gusto mo po ay gantan dark color. Ito sa akin pink. Ayan, light color sa akin. And then also, you can add image, background image. For example, ayaw mo ng pink. Punta ka dito and then import. Then, meron ako itong nasave na image. Ayan. Then, click ko lang yung OK. So, as you can see, nakatile siya. Kapag in-spread ko to, nakatile siya, diba? So, it depends on also what layout ang gagamitin nyo. You can use center. You can stretch. Okay, yes. You can zoom. But for now, I'm not going to use the background image. So, kung gusto natin siya na clear, we're going to click all, again also the background image. Then clear mo lang siya. And then okay. Ayan. And then, with the cancel button, ayun na lang. Ayan. Punta tayo kay na. sa control box. Ayan, sa control box. So, the control box is the minimize button, the maximize, and the close button. So, ito yung control box natin. So, pag ito po ay ginawa ko ito po, is basically nawawala siya. So, balik lang natin siya. Ayan. And then, yung enable po, babalikan po natin siya later on pag nakapag-start na tayo, pag nakapag-build tayo ng program. For the font, we can also um, format the font style, the size of the button. So, for example, we can use uh, different points like um, girls empty. Then, we're going to change the the size para mas malaki and then the points that will be people. So, yun po yung makikita natin sa button natin. And then, also you can change the poor color of the poem. For example, we're going to use red pot, real red color. Ayan. Also, you can add image inside the button. But why now I'm not going to add image? But it's up to you if you're going to add image. So, katulad lang din ang kaninang ginawa natin in background image. So, same. Um, input lang din siya. Tulad lang din ang kanyang. Tulad lang din. And then, also, we can change the text. But instead button 1, for example, we can use login or submit. So, anyway, I'm going to use login button. Ayan, login. And then, the text align, you can also change the alignment of text. It depends on me. But I'm going to use the middle center. Alright, next one. Balik tayo sa form natin. 
and then we're going to see this one, the maximize box and the minimize box. So the maximize box and the minimize box is para siyang kambal or twin. So if you're going to false the minimize box, you need to state the minimize, the maximize box also in false. For example, if you're going to set the maximize box false, and then pa rin si minimize button, pero hindi na siya nagpapunction. Ayan siya. Pero if you're going to false also the minimize box, no, wala na sila parehas. Diba? So, balik lang natin siya sa true-true. And then, sa size naman, so, pwede mo siyang stretch. Diba? So, pag in-stretch po natin siya, nababago din dito yung size niya. So, this is width. Well, the P57 is the height. So, depends on kung kaano kalaki yung form natin. Ayan. So, nababago yung size niya, di ba po? And then, sa form natin, pwede rin natin siyang palitan kung ano yung text na nasa taas. So, you can change it into computer. Computer 9. And like test. And next one is the window state. So the window state, paano siya mag-appear sa ating screen? So let's try to start debugging po. Click natin yung start button. So yung normal po, ganito siya pag nag-appear, pag normal. Wait lang natin po. Kasi nabibuild pa siya. Ayan. So, ayan. May kita po natin that the login button is clickable. Okay? Button is clickable. So, kanina po, the login button is clickable. Now, tinry po natin, try po natin that yung enable button is in false. So, once na nagtipag na po tayo, ito po yung lalabas. So, as you can see, the login button is not clickable kasi naka-enable po. Naka-false enabled siya dito sa ating properties. So, ibabalik po natin ulit siya sa true. So, balik natin siya sa true. And then, start natin siya ulit. Ayan. So, clickable na po ulit si um, button natin. Okay. Stop debugging tayo. And then also, hindi lang buttons yung pwede natin ilagay sa window forms natin. So, we can add pictures also. So, by using the um, picture box button. So, picture box button. Ayan. So, mostly, pwede mo siyang gamitin as image dito. Pwede ka dito maglagay ng image. But since the image wala siyang katulad ng background image layout, mas okay na dito tayo sa background image uh, maglagay ng image para yung layout natin is makapamili tayo if tile, center, stretch, and zoom. Kasi dito sa image sa baba, wala siyang ganun. Wala siyang uh, layout. Okay? So, punta tayo sa background image and then let's use the local resource and then picture ko. Lagay ko yung picture ko. Ayan. So, pag nakatile siya, ganyan siya. So, parang ikaw yung mag-adjust sa kanya. Ganyan. But if you're going to choose center, ganyan pa rin siya. Ikaw na naman yung mag-adjust sa kanya. Pero nakasenter siya. But if you're going to use stretch, ayan din. Ayan. Pwede rin siya. So, the stretch button o kaya yung zoom, pwede natin siyang makontrol. Ayan. Nakakontrol natin siya. Unlike sa 
time, hindi natin nakakontrol. Tayo yung mag-adjust sa sukat niya. So, we can use the stretch button or zoom button. So, what? Sa akin ngayon, gagamit ko yung stretch, stretch button. Ayan. And then, maybe we can change the login in small font instead. Italitan hmm. natin siya ng konti because it's too big. Ayan. And then, we can also add um, sa toolbox, pwede tayong mag-add ng text box. So, pag kayo ay nag-click dito sa text box, meron naman din um, something. Meron po siyang um, short description. So, it enables the user to enter text. Okay? So, we're going to um, lagay natin siya dito. Para pag sa nag-program tayo ka mamaya, we're going to input our name here and then the login is clickable also. Ayan. So, it's up to you if you're going to change the background color for that one. Pwede naman. So, depende sa inyo kung gusto niyo siyang pink rin <laughs> or yellow instead. That's up to you. Pero sa akin, gusto ko siya ay white lang para tatype lang talaga yung name natin dyan. And then, we can also add some pictures inside here. So, it's up to you if you're going to add pictures, but it's up to you. Let's see. To so, so that, let's try to make a picture again here. And then, choose the... Oops! Then... The background image. The word. We're going to add image. And then we're going to use the stretch. Since the stretch is control natin siya. Ayan. So we have here the form na wherein we use um, the button the button, the text box, and the picture box, and the tool box. And now, we're going to start debugging. Going to, we're going to click this one. And then, wait lang natin siya mag-build. And once na nag-succeeded na siya, ito yung makikita natin sa ating form. Okay, so yung login natin is clickable. And the text box is... Okay din. Ano din di kasano ba? So, again, pag itong text box is naka-full screen, hindi rin siya magana. Ano po? Ayan. Okay, next. Let's try po ah kung gawin natin enable itong ating text box. I-enable natin siya. Okay. So, kanina, kanina, ang ginawa ko is yung text box in-enable ko siya into false. So, now, yung login button lang, yung clickable, pero yung, yung text box, hindi na tayo makakapag-type. Para na lang din siyang picture. Just like na insert natin dito. So, enable is very important. Kasi kapag naiwanan natin siyang false, hindi natin nagagamit yung window form na ginawa natin. So, that's all. And make sure that next meeting may ma-present kayo sa akin na ganyan. Ano pa? So, so you can um, explore the toolbox. Ano pa yung pwede natin madagdag sa ating window form? So, pwede natin siyang dagdagan pa. So, it depends on you kung ano pa yung pwede nung idagdag. So, these are the toolbox na pwede natin maidagdag pa sa window po na gagawin natin. Ayan lang. 
if you have any questions pa, you can message me through email or in Schoology. So thank you.